North Carolina Campus Compact annually presents the Robert L. Sigman Service Learning Award, named in honor of the North Carolina native and service learning pioneer. The individuals recognized demonstrate how to build strong reciprocal relationships, how course content and community service enhance one another, and the impact students make in communities. They have institutionalized service learning by equipping other faculty, building the theory base, and sustaining their own work. These are their voices. Unless we really engage the community, the grassroots folks, the public agencies, the nonprofits, the businesses, in helping us educate young people, we're, we're lost. Robert Sigmund is just such a modest man and really coined an idea perfectly. Uh, and the reason that service learning became the name that stuck is that he really understood the delicate balance between service and learning. So I was designing my programs around the student until Bob and his wisdom uh, helped me to understand how, what the, uh, that it begins with the community. It's not about finding out how to find a placement for a class. It's about assessing the community's needs and then finding classes and students who will have something to contribute as well as learn from, of course. Service learning really enlivens any course. It brings a reality to any, any disciplinary uh, concepts that you're learning. And so um, I, at this point, it's become so much a part of how I teach that it would probably be harder to teach without it than with it. For me, it's a win-win-win situation. The faculty member wins because they have more engaged students. I can assign a chapter on inequality and my students may or may not read it. But if I take them to Mexico and in the morning we distribute milk and eggs among the poorest of the people and then that night we go to the governor's house because he wants help in a new project, they've now seen inequality. I think this kind of uh, public engagement is really important to students because they come to see that their learning is not static, doesn't come out of a pre-made box. They become quite active in the learning themselves. They really shape the outcomes of their learning. They really uh, shape the curriculum in what they bring back to the classroom from the engagement that they have. And then the community wins because now they've got really engaged younger people coming up who are willing to take on those, those tasks. So that's why I think faculty should go ahead and incorporate these because everybody's a winner. I think that we are in a position that we can teach our students in a way that they leave with, with strictly disciplinary knowledge or we can teach our students in a way that helps them gain insight into how that knowledge can be used to strengthen the communities that they live in. And the way that I can do that best is by engaging in the communities and the challenges that we face as we educate them. What are you getting out of your teaching right now? What, what turns you on about your teaching? Same old, same old. What would you enjoy a little spark? Would you like the students to be more enthusiastic about the subject matter? Would you like to confront issues that haven't come up in the classroom before, but that will come up when the students are out there in the community testing your theories with their actual practice? And most of them say, well, that's kind of a challenge, you know, and those who are up for a challenge will go for it. And those who aren't, well, they're missing out. <laughs> This is slow work. It is, it, it is intense work, and it really means expanding the scope and reasserting the essential values of why I'm in education. I think what, I, what is happening is that those of us who worked 40 years ago, 30 years ago in the state, have sown a few little seeds, and those seeds have started to grow. And I think, you know, it's, it's harvest time at a level now, and, and 
bringing all these colleges together and these different groups is creating then a, a stronger environment for this engaged uh, learning that we're, we're hoping will keep growing. I would encourage faculty members to think about the ways in which the, the scholarship and the teaching that they're doing is connected to the community. And I would then urge them to talk to community partners and find out what are the problems that you're, that, that you're facing as a community partner. What are the needs that you have? And we've got some very big problems in the world to work on all over the globe. And I think you learn about that kind of problem solving uh, right on a university campus through community partnerships. And I think the lessons that you learn during your undergraduate years are directly applicable to your life and work that you're going to do once you leave the university and making the world a better place.